By 1998, living in nearby Milford, she reconnected with her ESL friends and began to produce community theater again in churches, the Hopkinton Historical Society, Hopkinton schools, or anywhere they could find space. Together, they started writing again, and in 2004 wrote a musical review to raise funds for the Cultural Arts Alliance of Hopkinton, which would be used towards the renovation of a dairy barn into an art center. It was the culmination of a dream that began in the drama and band rooms of Hopkinton High School. She now feels privileged to work in a place that fosters and celebrates the creative spirit in every individual, and still holds a special affection for working with high school students. Will Kelly please come up and receive her award? Um, when I think about Hopkinton, um, I think about uh, how we came to be here, first of all. Um, it was actually my father who um, was a teacher here for uh, a short time. Uh, he came in, I think it was 1969, around that time, to uh, teach in Hopkinton, which was the junior high and high school, and he taught math. And just before he came to teach here, he was actually teaching in LA, in California. And so it was a very, very different environment to come to Hopkinton from <laughs> teaching in LA. And when he taught in LA, you know, the kids were a little different, a little rougher there. Um, so his first day on the job here in Hopkinton, one of his students came up to him and said, um, Mr. Westcott, can I go out and uh, feed my horse at lunchtime? And he said, what? Are you talking, <laughs> what? And, no, I, I go to the Terry barn next door and I go and uh, feed my horse. The teachers let me do it, it's okay. And he said, all right, listen, it, I'll let you go, but I'm telling you, if you do anything that gets me in trouble, you are in big trouble. So he watched this girl and sure enough, she walked outside and fed her horse at lunch and came back. And he went home that evening and he said to my mother, any town where a young girl can go feed her horse at lunchtime, that's where I want to live. And so we moved here. Sunny is also a member of the Board of Advisors of Thompson Island Outward Bound Education Center, an organization that creates programs to provide Boston's youth with hands-on opportunities in STEM learning and facilitates experiences to help the young people realize their potential. For my journey, basketball has been a big part of it uh, in high school and beyond. Uh, in high school, it was amazing to see the support that our community engendered for, for our, t our town and our team. Uh, I did play my last basketball game in high school at the Boston Garden Parquet. Um, I had the misfortune of opening one of the books in the library and the first picture I saw was a picture of me crying after that game uh, because it was not the, the end result that we were hoping for. And as I look back and reflected and, and think about you know, what got me here today and the support that we had, I realized that you know, that was a girls basketball team in, you know, the early 90s. And, you know, the boys were playing basketball in their other games, and it wasn't about a girls team or the boys team. It was just about a sport and a town that people were rallying behind. It was great to come back. It's been a while. It's my first time in the building, seeing all the new changes. Uh, brought back a lot of memories, and it was great. It was great to talk to the students. They had some wonderful questions and really enjoyed it. It's great to call attention to the positive that's out there. Um, so I was just very happy to be part of that. Her scholarship has been supported by fellowships at Yale University, the Massachusetts Historical Society, the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum and Research Center, the Maine Women Writers Collection, and the Center for Creative Photography. Libby is a cultural historian who is passionate about making history exciting and accessible to the general public. As I was driving around this afternoon and, and found a town much changed <laughs> and a high school in a different building and an art wing instead of an art classroom. I can't get over the art wing, it's amazing. Um, I was really thinking of, of how this town, you can't put me into context without Hopkinton and without my time spent here. I had a great day. It was really nice to meet all the students. I particularly enjoyed getting to see the art wing and uh, meeting the photography teacher and seeing all of the opportunities that the kids have here to take all these great electives um, and seeing my former classmate Josh and learning a bit more about what he does. Um, it was great talking to the students and it was great riding around town to see how much things have changed but how much the community obviously still cares about the schools and investing in kids so it was it was a great day how did it feel to be honored here tonight it was um, humbling and you know it was surprising to me um, but also 
it was really, you know, it was it was a great opportunity to be in such an amazing class of people and to hear what everyone has gone on to do as a historian. I loved hearing more about the Browns and learning about Sonny's work and um, really connecting with classmates before me. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much.